Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Gain pieces in Othello and connect four. Uh, I think you would call those types of game pieces discs, right? Let's see if that's right here. Spot for a speech. Yeah, that could be a dais. Uh, let's see if I can spell this right. I think it's like this. Yeah. Who blank. That's true of everyone. That should be who isn't, right? Relief pitcher's success. If you don't blow the lead, you get a save. Yeah. Target of a canine's canine's maybe. Could that be a chew toy? Yeah. You would leave a bite mark on the chew toy. Ben Kingsley or Ian McKellen EG. I think they're both sirs, aren't they? And this is Asahi. Is that a Japanese beer? Beer brand whose name translates to morning sun. Yeah, that's right. We also have stew. Gumbo EG. Yeah, gumbo is an example of a stew. All right, it looks like we have a grid spanner here. This has got to be part of the theme. You cooked this? It's disgusting, said Tom Blank. <laughs> um, hmm. This is a very long last name. I-N-V-E-R? Uh, is it going to start with inverse? Tom Inverse? Hmm. This is very strange looking. Let's try and get some more crossing help here. Bugle call at lights out. Ooh, um, I know the bugle call at sunup is reverie, right? Uh, I don't know what lights out is gonna be. Is it taps? I think that might be right, actually. Coyote calls. Hmm. Is it yips or yaps? I'm not sure what this should be. West Texas Town in a classic country song. I'm pretty sure I've heard this song. I think it might be El Paso. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Provocative like this answer's position in the grid. Provocative, is this part of the theme? Hmm. Where is this answer positioned in the grid? It's in the north. It's kind of centrally located. Hmm. Interesting. Is it edgy? Oh my god, that's so funny because it's on the edge. Gloom partner, that's going to be doom. Doom and gloom. Formless mass? Is it a glob? Common word in pirate speak, is that yar? So we have Lola, Looney Tunes Bunny. Yeah, that's Lola Bunny. Uh, hmm. You cooked this. It's disgusting. Invert pour? What is going on here? One foot in the grave, poetically speaking. Oh my god, this is such a tricky clue. They're talking about a metrical foot in poetry. So the grave could be considered... And I am because the emphasis is on the second syllable in the grave, just like the three I am's in to be or not to be. Wow, that is super tricky. I really like that clue. Coyote calls. It's got to be yips, right? In very poor taste. Oh my God. In very poor taste, said Tom in very poor taste. Okay, it's not his last name. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so this is kind of taking everyday phrases very literally. I wonder why this person is named Tom. Maybe that's just a random name. Seven foot, say. Hmm, I guess that would be a tall person if we're talking about a person. Festoon. This is about decorating something? Hmm. I don't know. Employee at a brick and mortar business. Is this also being tricky? Is this gonna be about a business that sells brick and mortar? Is this gonna be about like a construction worker? That would be very clever. 
musical bit that slowly fades. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's called. Close in many close-ups. Is it Glenn Close because she's a movie star? This is a very tricky puzzle. That was a hidden proper noun. Okay, question. What happens when the blank clears over Los Angeles? A. UCLA. Uh. UCLA. Oh my god, this is so funny. What happens when the smog clears over Los Angeles? You see LA, it's not covered in smog anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've never seen that one before. Um, okay, yeah, this is gonna be a mason, right? Because they're laying brick and mortar. That's a very clever clue also. Maybe this is an outro. There we go, that would fade out. Cezanne or Gauguin. I believe those were both Paul. Yeah, this is Adorn. It is about decorating. Support group associated with the 12 steps. Is that Al Anon, Alcoholics Anonymous? Outings devoted to relaxation and self care. That's got to be spa days, right? Competent. Maybe that's Able? I like BLY here. Particularly particular. Is this Anal? Anal retentive? Let's see what this next lung across is. What do you mean there are no PlayStations left in stock? Asked Tom. Okay, it looks like Tom is doing all of our quotes today. Uh, so this is going to be a phrase that describes the way Tom is saying this quote. Um, hmm, and it's going to be some kind of pun about video games, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be yet. Peace out, an equivalent phrase. That's probably Sia, goddess with a reduplicative name. Is it Isis? It's got a repeat and it's only four letters long. Bird with a reduplicative name. <laughs> uh, okay, is it a Nene? That's my cousin, the Hawaiian goose. Uh, hmm. Man, these are hard to parse. Let's get this letter. Hopefully this will break it open for us. John of the Suicide Squad. I think John Cena was in that movie, wasn't he? Inconsolably. <laughs> because he doesn't get his video game console, the PlayStation. These are so funny. These are very cheeky. Scorch on a stovetop. That's going to be sear. You're searing your food. Not be straight with. That should be lie to. T-V-E-T? -E is that ALF, the alien life form? Well, blank B, well, I'll be. It is. Charge for tardiness. That's going to be a late fee, like at a library. Fervent. Could that be avid? Yeah, like with a lot of energy. Sailor in slang. Tar is a slang word for a sailor. You might hear a tar say, yar, possibly. So we have a vat, brewery, vessel. Yeah, that's right. Encounter unexpectedly. It seems like that should be run into. I wonder if we can get this next theme answer. We haven't had a lot of luck without a lot of help. I'm worried I may have anemia, said Tom, blank. <laughs> okay, I think I might have an idea of what this should be. I think this should be, said Tom, unironically because one cause of anemia is not having enough iron in your blood that is very very funny okay behold in latin that's going to be ecce like the famous quote ecce homo behold the man pastry dough used in crullers and beignets uh hmm pastry dough do i know this I'm not sure if I know the name of this dough. Lip could be sass. Nowhere to be found say. That could be AWOL, absent without official leave. Genre for Luther Vandross. I'm pretty sure that should be soul. Blank and I know it. 2012 number one hit for 52 down. Uh, hmm. Is it sexy? 
Sexy and I Know It? That sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know who sang it. Grief-stricken state. Yeah, that's definitely whoa. And this is the pastry dough. Yeah, I definitely don't know this. It's got to be French with this X at the end, right? Is connected. Hmm. I wonder if this is about being physically connected or if it's about having friends in high places. Pulitzer winning columnist Peggy. I believe that's Peggy Noonan. Visiting the National Museum of African American History and Culture Say. And this is abbreviated. Hmm. I wonder if this is a museum that's in LA. The same LA from our punny clue up here. Uh, I don't know that for sure though. I think it is going to be in somewhere and LA is the only two-letter city I can think of. I think it's a good guess. Let's see if this is an L. Flat for short. Hmm. For short. Are they talking about an apartment? That kind of flat? I don't know. Kind of column. Shouldn't that be op-ed? Ooh, this is not in LA. Hmm. What is this going to be? I have no idea. This is very mysterious. Is connected. I have no idea what this letter should be. Prominent part of an Apatosaurus. Did they have a big nose? I'm not 100% sure that's right. Had an inclination. Hmm. Had an inclination. This is about wanting to do something. It's not wanted. Specialty of clerics, druids, and paladins in Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, um, is this some kind of magic? Or is it like the kind of weapon they use? I'm not sure. Man, we're having trouble in the bottom of this grid here. With 54 down, back to fighting. Back to fighting. So it's not like back at it. That doesn't really make sense. That's terrible, an equivalent phrase. Hmm, I almost wonder if run into is not right. It feels really good though. Hmm, hammer's end. I wonder if that's a peen, like a ball peen hammer. Yeah, hack off, that could be a lop off. Rugrat, so this is a small child. Maybe that's a tyke. Blank transfer. Hmm. What kind of transfer are they talking about? Flat for short. Hmm. This is so ambiguous. Gumbo ingredient. That's going to be okra. Hmm. Man. Maybe this is a wire transfer. What is this? Flat for short. I have no idea what this is talking about. Twos? It seems like that's the only thing that could fit in here. It has to be for short though, so it's gonna be some kind of abbreviation. Hmm, this is very mysterious. Let's take a look at our last grid spanner here. You guys are supposed to be wise men, and these are the gifts you bring a newborn? Asked Tom. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is gonna be about the nativity story somehow. Uh, hmm, I don't really have any idea what this should be. In a manger? Oh man, I have no idea. Before to Byron. Okay, he was a poet, so this should be air, right? Okay, a little bit of a toehold here. Het up? Oh my god, what is het again? I feel like I've seen this once or twice. I can't remember what it means. Blank of the state. Is that an enemy of the state? Let's hope so. Man for one. Okay, I'm not going to fall for this one. There's an island named the Isle of Man in the UK. So this is going to be Isle. That was a nice trap there. Consider. That's got to be Deem. Swirl in a stream should be an eddy. Assistant. That'll be an aid. And maybe this is riled up. Het. So you kind of angered someone. Okay, I wonder if we can get this. Is connected. Yeah, it's had an in. So it is about knowing the right people. And this is a chew. 
Oof, I've never seen that before. I think that's a new one for me. Does that help enough to get this last theme answer? This Tom seems like he's very emotional. Um, is this going to be about incense? Yeah, I think it is. It's not totally incensed. It's going to end in incensed, though. Um, maybe it is totally incensed and both of these are wrong. Let's give that a try, actually, because these seemed like they weren't helping at all. Totally incensed. That's very funny. What in the world is this? I P blank C? Uh, let's come back to this. That's very confusing. Prominent part. Hmm. This is kind of tricky. I don't know what could fit in here. A patasaurus. Hmm. C66 across. Oh, right. This is back to fighting. Hmm. Home to over 7 billion people. 7 billion. Isn't that how many people are on planet Earth? Maybe it's not totally. This should be Earth, right? Had an inclination. I really want this to be tended. Yeah, that looks good. But then... Oh man, something very strange is happening here. Hmm. Is this a neck? Like, it has maybe a plated neck? I don't know about that. Is this magic? Ooh. Maybe it's not tended, but maybe it is neck. Uh. Frankly incensed oh my god because of frankincense and myrrh um <laughs> i guess that's right frankincense and myrrh hmm frankly incensed yeah frankincense and myrrh were both kind of incenses right am i right about that i think it's something like that wow that is super tricky i still have no idea who this artist is this should be earth this should be again right maybe it's at it again hmm this is run into i'm glad that was a really good answer this was neck okay so it was nose that was throwing us off maybe this is leaned and this has to be lmfao right so this will be oh no that's terrible Excellent. Okay, now we need to figure out what this is. I'm going to have to sit and think about this for a minute. Okay, well, I have an idea of what most of this should be. I think flat should be 2D, as in two-dimensional. We're not talking about an apartment here. And then this looks like it has to be in DC, right? Maybe this museum is in Washington, DC, but that would mean this would be 1D kind of column. That does not make sense to me, 1D. I don't think that's a kind of writing column or a kind of architectural column, not one that I've ever heard of. On Ed? Hmm, that seems very strange. But you know what? Let's put in 2D. Let's take out op ed. And then let's throw in this N and see if that somehow will do it for us. Ooh, yeah, horse feathers. Something is indeed wrong. So maybe that explains why 1D looks so strange. Let me see if I can track down this mistake. Ooh, here's the mistake. I had the wrong tense in this answer. It's is connected, not was connected. So this should be has an in, and this will be the ones column, like in doing addition and subtraction. Excellent. All right, let's throw this S in there and see if that will, in fact, do it for us. 
All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 32 minutes. That's kind of a long time for a Wednesday puzzle. Although I did have a few cat interruptions. Yeah, my cat tried to help us out a little bit and it ended up adding a few minutes to our solve time. But yeah, this was a pretty fun theme today. We got some everyday phrases that we need to interpret kind of punnily as descriptions of how our friend Tom here is saying something. So Tom is saying, you cooked this, it's disgusting, in very poor taste. He says, what do you mean there are no PlayStations left in stock? Inconsolably, he doesn't have a console. I'm worried I may have anemia, unironically. He doesn't have iron in his blood. And you guys are supposed to be wise men and these are the gifts you bring a newborn? Frankly incensed, yeah. He had a lot of incense after the three wise men brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's very funny. I'm still wondering who Tom is. I wonder if he's a friend of the constructor. In addition to this very punny theme, there was a whole bunch of very tricky cluing today. I thought this was pretty funny. Provocative. Like this answer's position on the grid. Edgy. That's very funny. I loved the trickiness in this clue. Employee at a brick and mortar business? That would be a mason, yeah. This hidden proper noun. Close in many close ups. That's very tricky. And we had another hidden proper noun here, man for one, the Isle of Man. Yeah, this Wednesday puzzle was definitely on the challenging side. We had these two reduplicative clues too. This is a very appropriate little bit of repetition. All right, well, if I blather on any longer, I'm going to get charged a late fee. But I hope you enjoyed solving this Wednesday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week the Thursday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.